Uh, I had a request to do a video review of this Richard Legrand Ocean Farer. There are plenty of videos on YouTube for this one if you type in the Ocean Farer. Mine is the um, version 2, which has the protruding male end lengths. The version 3 went to female, so if you have really small wrists, you might want to check out the version 3. Uh, the version 2 seemed to fit my wrist just fine. Uh, they changed something else, I think, on the version 3 too, but it was something very subtle. I went with the blue, blue, uh, blue dial, blue sapphire bezel, which actually is, is kind of dark. Even out in the sun, you just catch that dark navy blue. But outside in the sun is where this thing shines. It just looks beautiful. Anyway, figured I'd, since uh, there's plenty of videos, I'm not going to go over size and everything. But this does have a nice milled clasp. It's got uh, Richard Legrand here. It's all brushed bracelet that just glitters in the sun. Look at this thing. Whee! So this is a very shiny, uh, this is my, what do you call it, uh, fanciest dive watch. A little polished edge here, kind of like Omega. Brushed, beautiful, uh, I mean, just lots of real clean, crisp, prettied up. It also reminds me of uh, the Rolex Explorer with the 12639. It's by far my dressiest dive watch. There we go. Let me get you a little couple wrist shots, couple views in the sun. The little photos on the um, on the web page don't do it justice. You got to get this sort of thing out in the natural light. Look at that, pretty, pretty dial. And I'll do a little loom shot comparison so you can see it. This, this glows really bright. The the uh, bezel here is is loomed, fully loomed. Got a really nice, like no play, real nice bezel action. All right, let me get you inside and show you some loom shots. All right, thanks for watching. Before I run in for those loom shots, I just remembered the other thing that changed on the version version three when they went to the. Um, female in lengths instead of this male one they lost the quick detach uh, quick detach bracelet which I prefer so if I was to buy another one I would try to get the uh, quick detach um, you can see them there quick detach bracelet it's so much nicer it's a real pretty back too they they went with a diver belt helmet and diver helmet and anchors there and that's at 3 ATM oh, oh yeah yeah 200 meter let me show you the reason why I, I like the quick detach is because I also like wearing this on a gray NATO so this is how easy these are to pop off you just do this the only other watch I have that does that is the Zelos so that's like a it's a nice item you don't lose your pin either um, I did do another video uh, briefly describing some of my other watches that need these curved these curved spring bars to get to work on a NATO. So I'll leave a link for that in my description. Uh, this little watch watch collector tip. But you see, if they were straight, you just don't have enough room. So curved spring bars give you the right amount. Luckily, this came with curved spring bars because it came with a um, a rubber strap as well. I like it on this gray seatbelt nylon NATO. Can't remember who makes this one. I think actually this came for free when I, with my San Martin uh, Ghost Diver. We'll slip it on there and get you a wrist shot. Oh, and I forgot the wrist shot with the other bracelets. Good thing it's quick detach. I'll pop it back on for another, another view. Well, that's how easy it is. You don't need tools or anything. 
This one looks real nice on a NATO. That blue and gray kind of complement each other. Now let's get that on wrist. It isn't as long as my other NATOs, but it's plenty long to do a double tuck under there, so that works nice. There we go. Wrist shot. Just like the how the light plays outdoors of this watch. Little wrist roll. Certainly brushed uh, hardware on that NATO. Matches that brushed case. There you go. Let me switch it back to the... Uh, bracelet and there she is back on the bracelet for some uh, pretty loot there's the bracelet roll that is a sharp bracelet oh look there I am <laughs> All right, let me get inside for those loom shots for you. All right, guys, going to do a quick comparison here on the Richard Legrand. Get you a nice loom shot, charging them up. This is the Seiko Flightmaster. This one also had those similar style hands. I'm just trying to find something similar. And, of course, my monster, my newest loom monster, the Zelos, or Z I think it's I'm gonna say Zelos because I watched Westworld and it's Delos so this would logically be Zelos um, the swordfish let's take a look at that loon sapphire bezel All right. there you go shines pretty bright Seiko's known for good like the the standard of loom lasts all night very legible. All right, let's. I'm gonna follow up here with some five, ten, fifteen-minute loom shots. See if we can watch it degrade. <laughs> 